Peace be to you, dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. In today's Gospel, we are invited to reflect on the importance of conversion on the arrival of the Kingdom of God. The Pharisees and Sadducees, elders of the community, asked Jesus a sign to prove himself that he was the Son of God. Jesus replied to them, Except the sign of Jonah, nothing can be given. Jesus had given two signs. The first one, sign of Jonah. The sign of Jonah was that he preached the God's word to the pagan people and they, believing the prophet's words, starting from cattle to the king, started to do penance. Seeing their penance and their orientation towards the conversion of their hearts, God changed his mind and reverted the destruction that he had planned to do on them. So many prophets, kings, seers have given the word of God to the people, warned them that there, is, there was going to be the arrival of the kingdom of God. Jesus' kingdom was going to be arrived, but they did not believe. The people of Nineveh, they believed the prophet's words, but here the people, they did not believe the prophet's words of arrival of the kingdom of God. The second sign was that seeing the wisdom of Solomon, the princes from the east came to hear this wisdom of Solomon. How much more should be the importance should be given to the the source of wisdom, God himself was present there in their midst. So, the mercy and wisdom of God, the ray of mercy and wisdom of God was given importance, but when the source itself was there in the form of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, they did not convert and they did not hear the wisdom. So this was the accusation that Jesus had given on them. And they stayed stubborn not to hear the word of God. The wisdom of God and mercy of God given to us. The beautiful riches of Jesus Christ is given to us. The call is we must continuously orient our hearts daily towards the presence of God. Every day we are tempted. Every day we are given the grace. Every day we are given the mercy and every day we are given the wisdom. And every day we must orient ourselves and our hearts towards God's presence. If we miss a day, we may go somewhere away from the track that God had designed for us. So dear brothers and sisters, 
in a special way that this reflect the riches of god the indwelling presence of god with us and we are to enter into the kingdom of god with a conversion of heart let us pray heavenly father we thank and praise you for all the gifts especially the mercy and grace that you have poured on us lord be with us strengthen us by using the grace and mercy of god we may overcome daily the temptation prompted by the evil lord by overcoming the temptations we may continuously orient our hearts towards you and get converted fully lord be with us guide us so that we may release the riches that you have given us through the cross of christ we ask this through christ our lord amen